Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 31st, Halloween, to November the 7th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. And every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But I can give you clarity, accuracy, and answers to any question in a private reading. So I welcome you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatarot.info. See you soon, my friend. We start our week, Virgo, on Monday with an Earth card. And you have been given the Ace of Earth. Aces are the beginnings of all things in any suits, but the earth card has to do with the material part of our lives, often our jobs, careers, professions. It can have to do with eco situations. It can have to do with Mother Earth, and it can have to do with our closest circle, which is our families. This is telling me that there is going to be the beginning of an inflow of abundance coming into some of you. I also see that there's going to be a very promising business venture coming in, an event coming in for you as well. There will be some important signing of documents and contracts. Ego. You know I don't like this card. This is my least favorite card in the deck for Tuesday. So, you know, basically this is a false sense of entrapment. This is being overly focused on material things and negative and fear-based thoughts. This is the bandage fix I tell everybody about. So there tends to be a root issue, a more deeper emotional issue, a problem or a situation in your life that you kind of put on the back burner and you want to ignore it. So you'll go out on a shopping spree or you'll do things that you shouldn't do and then afterwards you regret them. Yes, they give you instant gratification and then later on you look and you go, why did I do that? So please don't do that. Please deal with the root the root issue and the emotional issue at hand. Wednesday crowning your week, you've been given another Earth card. This is the Seven of Earth. This is uh, telling me that some of you have put out a proposal or some sort of a proposition out, uh, out there into the universe and perhaps it had to do with at your place of employment. But you're waiting now. There's a temporary pause in action and you're wondering how that was received. Please know you don't need to worry because those seeds, my friend, were planted well. On Thursday, water card, page of water. Relationship card can be intimate, romantic, or not. It can be a friendship relationship. It can be a relative in your family relationship. But this is telling me there's going to be a new person entering your life. And it is a page, so this person is a little bit younger, maybe male or female. This individual has the personality trait of actually being intuitive themselves. They're sensitive themselves. They're artistic and they're friendly. This person that enters your life, this new person that enters your life, is going to start a relationship it's going to begin a new phase for you. It also talks about those of you that are tapping into your own intuition, your own psychic abilities, so becoming more pronounced and heightened. Friday, the end of the week, a water card again, the three of water. Uh, there's going to be a celebration. There's going to be uh, either a wedding, a graduation, or the, a birth announcement coming in to you that you're going to be invited to because they show me that you need to have fun and you're going to be attending one of these types of events and you're going to have a blast, my friend. Have fun. You need to have more fun, they say. On Saturday, another Earth card, the Five of Earth. This is telling me that some of you are quite worried about money. You're fearing, you have fears circulating around you about money, that uncertainty about finances. Uh, please know that you need to accept the wisdom of someone professional, help from someone else, or it may be not professional. It can be a member of the family who steps up, who may be involved in money and maybe an accountant or a bookkeeper, or perhaps it's your employer. It could be your financial advisor. It could be your banker. But someone, you need to accept their advice, okay, to help you get over this hurdle with these fears surrounding you by money. Those of you that have your own business, it shows me that you're uncertain about your self-employment too. Seek out the wisdom and advice from someone to help you there. End of the week on Sunday, you've been given a fire card, the night of fire. Fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices into motion and risk-taking, adventure, and mainly self-development. This is a great card. This is telling me that there's going to be a sudden event coming in, like this knight who charges in on his steed, 
uh, this event is going to land on your desk on, or on your path just like that. And it's going to need your immediate attention. Time is of the essence. You can't put it on the back burner and think about, oh, well, I'll deal with it later. You need to get on it, my friend, when it arrives, okay? But they want you to think things through very, very carefully when you do, okay? This is all about uh, being passionate and adventurous and self-assured and sometimes restless. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Masters Oracle card, and they gave you this perfect card. So this is a flow of prosperity coming into you. This is all about that Earth card, too. Those seeds were planted well. Uh, this is all about, uh, you know, uh, an inflow of abundance on Monday with that Earth card that came in. So please know there will be a flow of prosperity coming into you, and it can be in the form of money, time, or effort. Prosperity comes in to bring you peace and blessings and and, uh, and, and an all-over feeling of wellness. Prosperity can be in the form of good health. It can be in the form of currency. It can be in the form of wonderful love relationships and friendship relationships, a job, okay? Things coming down your path that make you happy and bring you your bliss successfully. I wish you a great remainder to today, Virgo, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. And the quote I chose today is, the only, you only have control over three things in your life. The thoughts you think, the images you visualize, and the actions you take. Have a great week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.